How to use Google Meet in 2020 is coming up next. Hey guys, this is Ankit from The Guy's Computer and today we will learn how to do a video conference up to 100 people on PC in Google Meet. So on your Google Chrome browser, head on to meet.google.com. So we are at the home page of Google Meet. Here we have couple of options such as start a meeting if you want to host a meeting or if you already have a meeting code to join a meeting then you can put that meeting code here. Now on this right side you can schedule a meeting from Google Calendar. For that click on this add icon. Now it will jump onto the Google Calendar. Add a title. You can select day, timing as well as time zone. You will be happy to know that in Google Meet till September you can make this meeting as long as you want and up to the 100 people can join in your Google Meet. I will click on all day and now after that you can add location, description as well as attachments, files etc. And in the end you have to add some guests. For example, I have this email. Now after that, I will simply click on save. So if you want to send them invitation, click on send. Now the whole thing changed. Now another thing I forgot to mention, if a person doesn't have an email, how you will invite that person? Well, you can either share this URL with them on social media networks or you can simply text message this code which then he or she will be pasting here and after that they can click on join after that click on start a meeting so at first it will make things ready for the meeting for example as you can see the camera you can turn it off by clicking on this camera icon or the shortcut keys control e another is this microphone you can turn it on or off there are a few other options settings where you can change the default microphone for example if you have more than one microphone then you can switch them and there are speakers as well and if you have a good webcam you can switch to that you can change the quality as well after that click on done now it's time to click on join now so when we will click on join now it is automatically saying to add others and it have got us this URL which we can share with people or you can simply add people from here by their email right from this place. Now I will join this meeting from my second laptop. So right now I am on my Mac. So guys let's check whether person who doesn't have a Google account can join Google meeting or not. First on my Mac I'll go to meet.google.com <laughs> on Mac we have got something amazing right here now I will use a meeting code command V click on join and after that it is asking me to sign in from any one of these accounts so that means you need a Google account to join a meeting now finally I am logged in by my another Gmail account and we have got it here test Google meet I'll simply click on that and it will start joining now I will allow the camera so right now there are two participants one is me and another is me as well from Mac so I have muted it so this one up here is a small window which is on this computer and the side angle which is from MacBook hey MacBook yeah this is the MacBook now there are a couple of options here few I will click on this meet option where we have some details, joining info and attachments. If you want to add any attachments, you have to go to that Google Calendar, click on that Meet option and you have to edit it. And here you have to add a attachment from your drive or you can simply upload it. Now you can click on select and you have to click on save. And yes, after that you will get an option to send email, which I don't want to. Now it is saved and it will take some moments to get that attachment here that's here is the attachment here we have basic options leave call video and you can turn off the microphone as well now there is an important feature here 
if I click on turn on captions, for example, if your meeting is being organized by a, by a non-English person like me, so these captions will help you a lot to understand what that person is saying. And as you can see, these are kind of accurate, almost accurate. Now after that, there is present now. It will give us three options. First one is entire screen, second a window and third a chrome tab. If you want to share your entire screen, you can click on it and share. It has started sharing the screen as you can see on my MacBook there. Right here, this is the screen on MacBook. So whatever I will show here is from this computer. After that, you have if you have to stop sharing, then click on stop sharing. So if I want to present a PowerPoint or a window, just click on that and here you have got it. But before that, you have to run that window as right here. I am sharing this. This is my <laughs> Photoshop or you have another option to share a Chrome tab. If you will click on these three dots, you will get some of the options such as changing the layout. If you have a lot of people like 20, 30 or even maximum 100 people, then you can select this thing. I have selected it, but as you can see, there are only two people. <laughs> Both are me. You can't see a difference, but you can turn, change this to full screen. And we have got setting here again with all the audio video settings now up there if you will click on this human icons so two people have joined now if i want to add more people i will click here and if i want to chat i can send message hi to everyone it will show up as you can see on my macbook so that's couple of things we have here so when i click on this another user we have got three options now we have got three options one spin to screen i don't know what that means another i can mute this is muted now if i want to unmute that person then that person has to unmute himself now third one is remove i can remove that person from this call in this way we can use google meet in 2024 free video conferencing up to 100 people on pc thanks for watching this video and if you have any questions let me know in comments thank you and goodbye